Behave yourself. Don't get any toys in prison. I never had any toys. My father believed they would warp my sense of values. Is your father still alive? Died violently. Who's in charge? I am. Once again, who's in charge? You are. Excellent. My feet! Drop the fucking gun or your friend dies! I have no friends. His name's John Cutter. He's airline security. Mr. Cutter, I'm sure your superiors would not like you to do anything rash and risk the lives of all these wonderful people. Stand up! Move! Ah! <laughs> airline personnel assume a certain risk. It's part of the job. These passengers, they're so innocent. What do you want? Oh, I have what I want. I have control of the plane and everything on it. Must I prove them to you? Oh. Sir, tell Mr. Cutter your name. Douglas. Cutter, meet Douglas. Let him go. Do you have any children, Douglas? A daughter. A family man. He has a daughter who loves him. And she, until your interference, had a father. No. Drop the fucking gun! I think we should do exactly what Mr. Rain wants. Find something to tie him up with. Look in the baggage over here. Plan not working out the way you want it, asshole. Don't flatter yourself, Cutter. You prevented nothing. Although it seems I may have underestimated you. Dumping the fuel is quite ingenious. At least Mr. Douglas's body won't have so far to fall now. <laughs> well, maybe Vincent could hitch a ride with him on his way down. You know, Charlie, I'm a little surprised at you. Didn't your father ever teach you never send a boy to do a man's job? <laughs> Speaking of boys, our stewardess friend must be feeling particularly unsatisfied. Charlie, you ever play roulette? On occasion. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Always bet on black. This is Chief Leonard Biggs, Lake Lucille Police Department. Now, if you tell me what you want, I'll tell you what I can deliver. I want this plane fully fueled. If I do not see a fuel truck in position and functioning in the next five minutes, you will be responsible for a great many deaths. Well, I'm not fully authorized to grant any demands at this time. I suggest you look out your window toward the plane just in front of the landing gear. I've just executed five passengers. I will execute five more every three minutes until you find me someone who is authorized to meet my demands. Look, uh, I want to help. But how do I know you won't kill the rest of those passengers once I get you what you want? Get the truck near the plane. As soon as the fuel begins to flow, I will release half the passengers. You will be responsible for saving a hundred lives all by yourself. Look, I'll make some calls. Uh... While you're on the phone, I'll be killing another group of passengers. Let me know when I should stop. Now, now wait, wait. Uh... Do we have an agreement? Fuel's on its way. Check and meet. Mr. Carter, 
How kind of you to pay me a visit. You've been a worthy adversary. It's a shame we won't be seeing much more of each other. Let me tell you something. If anybody else gets hurt on that plane, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a prison cell to keep me from ripping your fucking nuts off. I'd come to expect more from you than cheap vulgarities. You and I both know I will never see the inside of a prison. The notion of good over evil will not allow you to sit idly by and watch the needless death of your fellow citizens. Well, you know, Rain, you got a good point. Maybe I should just kill you right here, then, huh? You wouldn't take advantage of a helpless man, would you? It's never stopped you. <sighs> That's the American way, isn't it, brother? You should know. You're used to being taken advantage of. I want him off the plane, Rain. We share the same hunger. We're both killers. I know the breed, Cutter. Now I'm sick of your shit. You need the passengers. I want the plane. Put me back on board and the passengers will be released. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to trust you. Trust your instincts. My instincts are to wax your ass all over this floor. Those are your emotions acting without the benefit of intellect. Now. Passengers' lives are in your hands. Don't fail them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.